Today, I am going to speak English. Okay, that will work? Okay. Avec un petit peu de français. Okay. Et très chouïe arabien. My presentation today is a bit more personal because after all, positive action is personal. And the presenters asked me to share why am I here? Pourquoi il y a un Américain qui est installé ici en Algérie? Exprès. So I'm going to try to share my story a bit. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So today I'm going to talk about inclusive education, l'inclusion et l'éducation inclusive, because this is something that's very, uh, it's a passion of mine, something very important. Because I'm a teacher, I'm a mother, I'm someone who wants to make a difference in the world. Donc, j'espère que je peux partager un petit peu, surtout le côté pratique. Comment on peut changer les classes pour accepter tout le monde. Mais d'abord, pourquoi je suis là? Why am I here? Let's see. D'abord, I started my career in Alaska. Alaska is a long way away. Okay? Mais quand on quitte chez nous, le plus loin, on commence à mieux apprécier ce qu'on a quitté. What I appreciate about Alaska is the phrase, ça se fait. On dit pas ça se fait pas. On dit ça se fait. Because when it's 40 degrees below zero, quand il fait moins 40, il faut faire quelque chose. <laughs> Et c'est la même chose ici, hein? quand il fait 40, bon, peut-être il faut faire rien, mais... <laughs> Donc, mes racines sont en Alaska, mais mon passion, my passion is education. So I was very privileged to be able to study at an elite edu educational institution that's Harvard University. C'est l'université de Harvard. Mais qu'est-ce que j'ai appris à Harvard? C'est le côté pratique. À Harvard, il veut comprendre qu'est-ce qui marche. Je suis sûr beaucoup d'entre vous connaissez cette figure. What's his name? Oh, good. Yeah. Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog was invented in the United States to teach students to read. Lui, il est célébrité de la littérature, la littératie, alphabétisation aux États-Unis. Because what I learned in this elite institution is that children must enjoy learning. They must be engaged in learning to achieve. Okay? So, I left my studies to teach. And what did I find? I really like the difficult kids. J'aime bien, je préfère énormément les enfants difficiles comme enseignant. Parce que si je peux trouver les clés pour les enfants difficiles, je peux enseigner tout le monde. Donc j'ai toujours cherché les enfants en difficulté, en pauvreté, et surtout, peut-être en situation de handicap. S'il y a une difficulté, souvent il y a un handicap, quoi qu'il soit dyslexique, autiste, maybe uh, even just a simple wheelchair. But finding the key in each student is what brings me most joy. However, here I am. <laughs> but why am I here in Algeria? I came here on purpose. J'ai fait exprès de venir ici en Algérie parce que j'ai mon fils. J'ai mon moulin de cerise. Et I want him to have the same advantages that all of you had growing up. Yeah. I want him to have the same rich education that you had. If I could speak five languages, English, French, Derja, 
Fusa, Berber, Amazir. But for me, it's not possible. But for my son, in three years, he can say, hello, mom. He can say, mais maman, ça se fait pas, c'est pas le beauté, c'est la beauté. <laughs> and then in the street, he can say, ya hoya, wesh pink. So we're very happy that he can be here with you, getting the same rich education, to understand how to defend his point of view, and to argue from in different languages, and to know those different codes between the languages, is rich. What I wish he could have a bit more of is critical thinking, l'esprit critique, peut-être. He's not getting that at school. He's getting that with his friends, with his family. In school, I wish there was more critical thinking, creative writing, persuasiveness. So, my great honor being here is to be able to share. J'aime bien que je suis là, que je peux partager un petit peu de mon expérience. J'ai une équipe formidable de World Learning qui lance les projets ici avec nous. Et je vais partager un petit peu de nos expériences. Donc, d'abord, first of all, the goal is interactive classrooms. We really want to see creativity. Okay? We really want to see classrooms that serve children. Là où les enfants peuvent créer quelque chose. Okay? Là où les enfants peuvent penser, que, que, peuvent lancer des nouvelles idées, discuter des choses, qui ne sont pas faits avant. Si ça ne se fait pas, peut-être un, il peut essayer. The other thing that we'd like, we'd like to do is to work with engagement, civic engagement. Comment on peut grandir l'intérêt des enfants de engager? Et ça se passe à travers la participation. Students need to participate in their classrooms to feel they have a voice. So we try to work with teachers to give them those methods. Okay? Also, students need to interact. When we first came here and my son told me, Maman, je suis à l'école entre 8h30 et 4h30. Et c'est interdit de bouger et c'est interdit de parler. J'ai dit, qu'est-ce que j'ai fait? <laughs> Mais maintenant, ça va, il a, il a, il a pris la rythme. But I would love to help schools become an interactive place where students can move and interact, raise their hands and have a voice. And in fact, start to do positive action on their own. So our goal is to share methods with teachers because the thing is, teaching is the most difficult job there is. I can tell you, I didn't know that. Et je vais dire en français aussi. Enseigner, C'est le travail le plus difficile du monde. Et, selon moi, le plus noble, le plus important. Because a teacher holds the life of a student in their hand every single day. A doctor can heal a patient when they're sick, but a teacher can easily break a life and make a life every single day. A doctor sees you once, a teacher's with you every single day. So teachers need training. Les enseignants, ils ont besoin de la formation continuellement, comme les médecins. But there's a method called universal design for learning. That's something serious I learned at Harvard, not just Kermit the Frog. But there's serious, serious applications. But they're simple. Les méthodes pour enseigner les enfants, uh, peut-être en situation de handicap, peut-être à uh, l'âge de 8 ans, qui parle que le mot de, de arabe ici, or a student who lives in poverty. It's the same method. It's simple and it's elegant. But it takes engaging the mind. It takes activating each part of the mind. Il faut activer tout ça, toute la tête, pour mieux enseigner les, les, les élèves. Mais comment? Il y a trois concepts. J'ai dit que c'est élégant, c'est ça. Il y a que trois concepts. 
You need to represent the material in different ways. You need to let students participate with the material. And you need to let students engage. Okay? But how? As we're representing the material, that means what is this? What is it? Students need to see. Okay? They need to hear. Okay? They also need to touch. They need to be able to touch the material. Okay? They need to get dirty a little bit at school. But also, students have to be able to interact with the material. They have to know, what am I supposed to do with this? Qu'est-ce que je vais faire avec ça? Donc, il faut que peut-être ils peuvent dessiner. They can work on their own with the material. Okay. Maybe they can work in groups. Peut-être ils peuvent travailler ensemble, ils peuvent discuter, ils peuvent lancer une nouvelle idée. But especially, how can they speak? Can they tell you a story? Could they sing you a song? Could they speak to each other? But they need to know what does this material have to do for them? And that's the most important concept. They need to be engaged. Les élèves doivent comprendre pourquoi je vais apprendre cette matière. Why should I care? Parce que si ils savent pas pourquoi, why should I care? There's no place to put the material. So they need teachers who are going to make the class interesting, make it the most interesting lesson they've ever had. They need to know they're making progress too. They need to know that they can do this, that their progress should go up. Okay. And they have to have a voice. When you engage all of these pieces of students, then they're taking positive action in a classroom. The benefit as well is they're learning. Donc si on peut utiliser, engager toute la tête des élèves, ils vont être engagés positivement dans la classe. But how do we do that? Teachers need training. Les enseignants, ils ont besoin de la formation continuelle. Okay. But there are very good teachers in Algeria. Il y a des enseignants avec la volonté énorme. We need to train volunteers, parce que l'école, c'est pas juste l'enseignant et les élèves, c'est toute la communauté. Okay. And what we found is an enormous amount of young people who want to make a difference, and they want to teach. So we're trying to train them and support them as well. And as you can see, active, fun, because teaching should be fun. Okay. But teachers need ongoing support as well. So we try to keep teachers coming together every week to train, to look at what am I doing, and share the best. But beyond that, once we have our young people who are out of the class, done. Après qu'ils ont des diplômes, qu'est-ce qu'ils peuvent faire la jeunesse? Ça aussi, il y a un chemin. Students here have an enormous amount of energy. They just need a bit of guidance. So what gives us the most pleasure is to work with civic engagement, helping young people find how they're going to make a difference. We try to model that you can think together, Et en fait, que ça c'est la chose la plus importante. Il faut partager des idées pour trouver des solutions. Oui. Mais avec tout ça, qu'est-ce qu'on va faire? Mais la chose, c'est de simplement faire quelque chose. Il faut prendre la joie, il faut prendre la volonté, et il faut sauter et dire... Ça se fait. Et c'est moi d'abord. So thank you very much for your time today.